Okay, I had a viewer um, question whether this uh, 100 to 1 scope probe that I bought could do 100 megahertz. It's uh, specified at 100 megahertz, so let's go ahead and test it. The way I'm going to test it is I have, uh, let me show you what I've got here. I've got a, a 100 megahertz coming in the BNC, it's going into a 50 ohm load, and I'm going to split it off. Uh, half of it's going in the oscilloscope and half of it's going to come out to the uh, to a place where I can clip on the uh, uh, scope probe. And we have uh, 50, 50 megahertz right now. So the blue trace is 50 megahertz going directly into the scope. Um, and we will connect the uh, scope probe. And uh, there we go. Uh, we're both at uh, 500 millivolts per division. So they're both measuring the exact same amplitude. So there is some phase shift due to oscilloscope probes. They just do that. Um, and yeah, so we're getting 50 megahertz. So it's operating just fine at 50 megahertz. Uh, let's try 75 megahertz. And uh, 75 megahertz, uh, there's actually a little bit of peaking on the, uh, on the, on the uh, oscilloscope probe. So its compensation is probably right on the edge of, it'll probably peak a little bit and then it'll fall off. Uh, let's try 80 megahertz, 80 megahertz. And let's try 90 megahertz. And it's peaking again. And let's try 100 megahertz. So there you go. So um, it does do 100 megahertz, but it is uh, not, not perfectly compensated at 100 megahertz. Instead of dying at 100 megahertz, it actually peaks at 100 megahertz. Um, and uh, so there you go. So what's the usable range? I mean, you can still see the signal, right? Uh, you're not gonna, you're not gonna maybe measure volts correctly, but you'll see the signal. So it's not dying. Let's go back to 50 megahertz, and like it's perfect at 50, right? So 60, it's still perfect. And I, I don't remember what 75 was. 75, it's probably starting to get up a little bit. So. It certainly is perfectly fine to 75 megahertz and absolutely usable at 100 megahertz. So anyway, there you go, viewer. <laughs> uh, cheapy, cheapy scope probe. It's pretty easy to build scope probes. So they, they build them all the time in China and uh, there's not a lot to go wrong. Uh, the fancy ones use lossy coax and a bunch of other things for dampening and stuff. But, uh, you know, for garage stuff, this cheapy stuff is great. <laughs> I love it. No need to uh, spend a ton of money on uh, on a Tektronix probe, or I mean, I do. I do spend a ton of money on probes because I'm a I'm a bit uh, strange that way. But anyway, if you're in the home garage, these cheapy, cheapy, uh, cheapy probes are great. I've got really cheapy probes on my uh, Tektronix. A scope that I have in my office. It's a 50 megahertz scope, and and those probes are, are perfectly fine on that scope. They 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 work just great. So yes, yeah, so don't be afraid of the cheap stuff. Um, it can be okay.